Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. Uh, this is more of a vlog, lore and theory kind of video series that I'm trying out. Obviously it won't be perfect straight out the gate, but it's something different and something I can do a little bit more rapidly than my most detailed breakdowns. Uh, they take a lot of research and time to put together, meanwhile this is a little faster and a little less dependent on extensive research. Cortana is dead. We know this. Because we saw her die at the end of Halo 4. But she's back in Halo 5? Maybe not. If anyone remembers the pages from Dr. Halsey's journal that were ripped out, you may also know that these pages are now publicly available. They detail an experiment where Dr. Halsey used a probe to plant the seed of an AI core matrix, again cloned from her own brain, into a slipspace field. It quickly grew and developed at an exponential rate until it began conversing in a maniacal and worrying manner. No signs of rampancy were detected, but due to it not existing in normal space-time, it seemed to gather knowledge over a massive time period, and had worrying, nonsensical comments on humanity, the Covenant, and other intellects in the mist. Dr. Halsey soon became concerned, and this was promptly followed by the probe telemetry terminating. As a consequence, Dr. Halsey shut the experiment down, and hoped the AI dead. What is initially worrying about this is that the AI in question was created from another clone of Dr. Halsey's brain, dubbed H7. It grew at an exponential rate, it spoke of other intellects in the mist, and the telemetry was ended, presumably, from the AI's side of the split space field, forcing Catherine to do the same. So this led me to think that perhaps the created Cortana isn't really THE Cortana. Is it possible that this new slipspace AI is actually the Cortana that we meet in Halo 5? We know the domain is linked in part to slipspace, and it's been described in reference as being mist-like in the past, and it's now believed that the domain is actually alive. Is that how she got into the domain? Would that explain why she's so different? Likely she accumulated the knowledge she has from the domain, but remnants of the original Cortana may have passed through the slipspace field aboard Mantle's approach, so she may have gained knowledge from that also. Even Dr. Halsey's memories, considering that she is a clone of the Doctor, and maybe even a little from the remains of the Mantle's approach itself, as it was destroyed. Slip space exhibits large variances in time, with hours being lost and missing during just Dr. Halsey's experiment. With that in mind, is it reasonable to assume that slip space works on a basis of simultaneous time rather than linear time? Basically, meaning that in slip space you can experience past, present, and future simultaneously, and traverse between them as easy as walking through a door, rather than being anchored to our inhibited linear timeline. That would grant this particular AI powers far beyond any AI we currently are aware of, maybe even mendicant bias. If this isn't the case, what else could it be? Halsey put an AI of her own mind into a slip space field within a drive core. Who was it? What did it learn? What did it become, and is it dangerous? Regardless of if it is Cortana or not, is it possible that because it doesn't exist within our space-time, that in fact it exists in a kind of simultaneous non-linear time? What if this thing, having existed outside of our space-time, is in fact the domain, appearing to us the forerunners or maybe even the precursors, we don't know, like it has existed for a long near perpetual time when in truth it's simply touching parts of our linear timeline in a non-linear fashion? Maybe that is why the Domain has recorded knowledge of a time longer than the age of the universe. Maybe that's how the Domain recovered from the firing of the Halo Rings, because it doesn't exist in temporal linearity, and thus a linear short-term event wouldn't have had any causative effects on it. So this AI is definitely born of Halsey's mind, just like Cortana, but she is, at least in appearance, quite different from the Cortana we knew. Even Chief noticed that and he may even have been referencing something deeper rather than just the look of her. This new Cortana would be capable of so much more due to her existing outside the normal laws of physics, and she also has direct access to the domain, or it actually is the domain due to this simultaneous time. Is that why the domain seems to possess free will and something of a consciousness? Did Dr. Halsey unknowingly create the domain? Did she create a consciousness so advanced it is literally godlike? It would be Ironic for a scientist, consistently in denial of a god, to be the creator of our galaxy's god. What do you think? Is Cortana in Halo 5, the leader of the created, really the same Cortana we knew in Halo 4? Or is it a new, evil twin sister? If the Halo 5 and Halo 4 Cortana are the same individual, then what happened to the AI that Halsey put in slip space? Is it possible that it is the domain, or is it something else entirely? Thanks for watching. 
stick your comments down below and I look forward to what you have to say. If you're new to the channel and like lore theories and Halo technology being analysed at insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so next time I put a video out you're told the second it hits the shelves. I just want to thank the Halo community over at Amino for their support of the channel and my rambling blog posts. If you're not already a member of Amino, I strongly recommend you jump aboard, link is in the description. Also, if you really like the channel, consider jumping over to Patreon and give whatever support you can over there. It massively helps me out and frees up more time for me to put into this Halo content and drives towards an ultimate goal that I'm pretty sure you'll love. More details on that in the near future. Thanks again everyone, now go rest your brain.